Imagine an intelligent robot standing on the edge of an apocalyptic city, surrounded by broken cameras and computers, in neopunk style. Well, you don't have to. That intelligent robot will do it for you. Today, we're going to be talking about AI art, what it is, where we think it could be going in the future, and how it'll forever change the world of digital art. We'll show you a couple sites that you can already use today to make your own art, and stick around until the end to hear about a gift that we'll be giving out to one subscriber. Let's get right into it. At this point, you've likely already seen videos or TikToks showing off pieces of art that were entirely computer generated, simply by typing a short description within a text box. Maybe you read the article about the guy who won first place in an art competition by submitting his AI-generated art piece. While this phenomenon has been taking the internet by storm in recent months, this is a pretty cool image. It looks like they heard a knock. Everything's smoking and on fire. I think photography as a whole is about to plummet in value. It's taken years of artificial intelligence learning to actually get to this point. Artificial intelligence art is created through a process called deep learning. Now, we won't really get into deep learning, but Vox has a simple and great explanation on how it works on their channel, and we highly recommend it. But simply put, Humans have spent years telling computer AI what certain things are in images. And now we've taught it to flip the script and spit out an image based on text. There's a bunch of these AI generators out there that you can jump into. Some are free and do a pretty decent job of creating artworks, while more robust options are either paid or invite only. Like Doll E2, which was created by OpenAI, formed and funded by the likes of Elon Musk and Microsoft. And while Dolly 2 is the creme de la creme of AI art generators, free options like Instill.ai and Crayon still do a pretty amazing job of generating images. You can input anything you want into the system, and you can be as generic or as detailed as you want. Simple phrases like guitarist in hell will still give you some interesting results. But you can also ask for specific locations and styles, like guitarists sitting on the Seine River in Paris, 1800s, black and white, or add some color with, in the style of Vincent van Gogh. The more detailed you are with the system, the better the results will be. And while some of these generators often struggle with the human form and faces, if you're precise enough, you can manage to have it generate deceivingly photorealistic images. Which begs the question, how dangerous is this technology? With the rise of deep fakes and deep learning AI in a hyper-polarized culture, we should be questioning these kinds of generators. People are divided on a lot of big picture problems at the moment, whether it's the political landscape or even the existence of climate change. People will use this type of technology to sway the general population to their side of the argument and that can be incredibly dangerous. While these images of a tsunami hitting a city are obviously still digitally created, you can tell that we're not very far from these crossing the uncanny valley. We typed in Donald Trump hugging and kissing Vladimir Putin. The results are pretty rudimentary, but the system understands who these people are and is capable of generating these images in seconds. Suddenly, you can imagine Scarlett Johansson as Tomb Raider's Lara Croft, Bill Gates in a burqa with jumping ropes, or Joel from The Last of Us sitting at a sushi restaurant. It's all pretty cool and terrifying at the same time. And who's to say that the AI isn't racist or close-minded about certain groups of people? We typed in two LGBTQ people together, and every single result was two white men every single time. And aside from that, there's also the argument of, is this really art? Well, Jason Allen, the artist who won the first prize in a digital art competition, says that his photo is a piece of art. He stated that the AI is a tool, like a paintbrush is a tool, that there is a creative force and mind behind it, and that he had spent weeks of fine-tuning and curating his generations. But even the response to this competition is polarizing with many people on Twitter and YouTube stating that their art form is dead. While some other people are arguing the point that painters must have been upset when photography was on the rise, or that artists who worked with film were upset when digital popped up. 
that AI art will just have a subcategory of its own instead of killing the digital art form. But doesn't that at least devalue digital art? If anyone can jump on a generator, create exactly what they want, and hang it on their wall, why pay artists for their digital art? Well, we tried it. We took a look at this piece of digital art that was being sold for $70 on an online store and wanted to see if we could replicate it. The AI generator Midjourney gives you about 25 submissions before you have to pay for a monthly subscription. So we jumped in there and using a fairly simple input of astronaut blowing a planet-shaped bubble in space, our results obviously weren't exact, but we actually found some similarities, even in the color schemes. We also tried replicating the sniper stormtrooper in the woods. Again, the results were interesting, but not quite what we were looking for. So we don't think that this devalues the artist. There will always be a need for the precision and exact thought behind every line and stroke on a human-made piece of art. And AI art shouldn't be judged in the same category as human-made digital art. These will be split into subcategories. So. Although the cost of entry for the digital art form just went down to zero, we think new artists will use these AI generators as a tool to enhance other forms of their art, instead of killing it. Indie developers or filmmakers will likely use AI to generate concept art for their games and movies, or even use the art within their projects in unique ways. And although that may initially remove some work from concept artists, it'll flood the medium with new projects that will need your human touch. Looking forward, we could see this technology being tied to AI script and voice generators that then link your mid-journey characters to a certain voice and name within a script, and with enough computing power, the AI could start making its own animations. What do you think about AI art? Should we be scared or excited? Also, leave a comment of what you would feed the AI generator, and we'll feed one subscriber's comment into Midjourney and send you a printed copy of your AI art with a Tech We Want sweater.